Heather and I'm the Children's Specialist at the Tewksbury Public Library. Welcome to our last Maker Craft of the Summer. Today we are going to be making castanets. Here's an example of one I did earlier. And a castanet is a percussion instrument. It, mine is made of cardboard and two bottle caps. And when you click the bottle caps together they make a sound. And so we are going to be making our very own castanets. So of course you'll need some cardboard, you'll need two bottle caps, and then you need something to decorate the cardboard. So you could use a piece of colorful paper, you could use some paint, you could use markers, you could use stickers or washi tape, anything you have that could decorate your cardboard. So let's get started. So the first thing you might want to do is measure your cardboard and see if it's about a good size to use for a castanet. And it's recommended that it's about 7 inches long and about 2 inches wide. So you can measure your cardboard and see if you have about a good length for it and if you have a good width for it. So this one that I made earlier is almost exactly 7 inches, you can see that right there. And it's almost exactly 2 inches wide as well. So that's kind of a good reference. You want to have it longer than you think because you're going to fold it in half so that you can get those bottle caps clicking together to make a castanet. The first thing you want to do is measure your cardboard, make sure it's about a good length. So like I said before, about 7 inches should be enough. Mine's a little bit over 7 inches, which is nice because that gives me some space I can trim the edge. For example, on this one I did a zigzag pattern. You can do zigzags as well if you want to trim the edges down at all. You could do a wave pattern. You could just keep it straight. Whatever you want to do for yours is awesome. And I think I want to make mine a little bit skinnier, like how this one's a little bit skinnier. So I'm going to trim this one down to about two inches and maybe I'll do a cool pattern on the sides here. So I'll mark my two inches and then maybe I'll draw a wave going down this side and a wave going down this side. And just want to make sure it's still enough. It looks like that should still be enough for me to make a castanet. So I'm going to trim mine down, you trim yours down, and meet me right back here once you've got your cardboard looking the way that you'd like. Now that you've got your cardboard all trimmed down to the way that you like it, it's time to decorate your cardboard. So I did mine in a wave shape here. So I think I'm going to do something that's kind of like an ocean scene, so maybe some blue and some sea creatures. When I did one earlier to test it out, I did like a monster one. So if you have some googly eyes, maybe you want to make yours into a monster, or it can be, even look like an alligator or a crocodile. Or it can just be regular, plain, just drawn on with some designs or some stickers. However you want to make your cardboard look, now's the time to do it. So, decorate your cardboard and meet me right back here. I have the front of mine all done. Now it's time to do the other side. This is where you're going to put the bottle caps. And as you can see on this one I did earlier, you can still kind of see the inside of it. So it's a good idea to still decorate the inside, even if you think not that many people are going to see it. Because it does add a nice pop of color. So get that inside decorated any way you like it, and meet me right back here again. So now that you've got your cardboard decorated on two sides, it's time to fold it in half. So one way to do that is you can find the middle by using your ruler. So mine measures at about seven and a half inches. So that will help give me a clue as to how much I need to fold it. 
in order to have it be just about the same amount of cardboard on both sides. So this looks like about half for me. I don't have much hanging over this side and really not much at all hanging over that side. So that's my half and I can just push and hold for a minute or two just to make sure that that will really stay in place. And now I've got my beginnings of my castanet. So now it's time to glue on the bottle caps. If you got some bottle caps at the library, you notice that they look like they're kind of squished. And that's because these ones haven't been pushed onto a bottle yet. So these ones are still great to use. And you can go ahead and lay them out right on your cardboard. And you can see about where you'll need to glue them. So you need to glue them maybe about a half or a quarter inch up from the edge and just kind of right in the middle there and once you glue on the first one there's a trick you can do that's really easy to figure out where you want to glue on the other one so for this you need some strong glue I am using a hot glue gun if you have some PVA glue or if you have some super glue those will work as well just make sure that whatever kind of glue you use you do have an adult watching you use it and helping you make sure that you're using it safely. Because super glue can glue your fingers together and be really incredibly painful. And hot glue guns can actually burn you because the glue gets so hot and liquidy. So press your bottle cap onto one side. And then a nice easy trick to make sure that you'll put your bottle cap on the right spot is actually just to push it into the other side. And that will give you a little bit of an indentation right in there. It might be hard to see on the camera, but I have a little indentation here. So now I know just where I need to glue on my other bottle cap to make sure that They'll hit together and make a nice cheerful noise. So I see the impression that my other bottle cap left. So I can put my glue right in a circle on that spot. Gluing down this flat side of the bottle cap, that's going to be easiest. So that flat side goes right on like that. And the bottle cap will look like that when it's standing up. So getting that right there in the glue. Pressing into place. And now I recommend letting them dry for at least 20 minutes. So that will help give the hot glue, if you're using hot glue, enough time to cool down or the super glue that you're using enough time to set into place. So whatever kind of glue you use, you do want to wait about 20 minutes before you use it. So give that 20 minutes some time to go by and then meet me right back here and we'll finish up with our castanets. Today for our last maker craft we made castanets and here's what mine looked like and you can hear their clacking noise. Castanets are a member of the percussion family and the same family as drums and so these are used to help with rhythm. In the past usually they've been made out of wood and cord but today we just made them out of cardboard and bottle caps. I hope you had fun making a unique instrument today and I hope that you'll join us for other future events and videos that we do at the Tewksbury Public Library. You can find all of the information for upcoming programs on our website. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you had fun and I hope to see you next time. Thank you. Bye.